We all know her from being a writer on Conan and her appearances on Conan and her podcast, The Jackie and Lori Show. Give it up for Lori Kilmartin, everybody. Thanks, you guys. Right on. Um, thank you so much for being here tonight, guys. I'm uh, recording an album. And I've recorded, yes, I've recorded all the shows this week, and I've decided that the best show is going to be the album. And, uh, you know, this... Lasers! <laughs> ...to plant your flag in comedy non-history. Um, and uh, before I even start, I... Um, I think other people had this experience. I got to the club at around 10 after 7, and I climbed up the steps from Battery. Okay, everyone needs to calm down. Um, all right, I'm not alone. There was... A different way. Wow, you missed... An incredible experience. Sir, I'm glad you're back. There was a... A giant human shit on one of the steps <laughs> leading up to the punchline. And I was both disgusted and impressed. I was, <laughs> I was like, that is a nice one. It's, uh, it's large, it's crisp, it has definition. It was pretty stunning if you saw it, right? The placenta. And I know, I know it, it's like, oh, it's probably... But it also could have been someone who just did that in a toilet and was like, wow, this needs an audience. I can't flush this shit. People need to see this. And then, and then across from the shit, does anyone remember what was on the other step? A Starbucks cup. What an incredible visual metaphor for America right now. It was really amazing. So you guys stepped over that and came to the show, so you're already heroes to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know. Some people probably fled back to Walnut Creek, but not you guys. You're tough. I like it. Right on. I, uh, I was sitting in my car recently, and a guy jumped in the back seat of my car, and he goes, hi, I'm Mike. And uh, Mike thought it was his Uber driver. <laughs> but for a, a terrifying second, I thought that Mike was my murderer. <laughs> I was like, wow, what a courteous killer. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to introduce yourself to me before you slit my throat. Of course, we figured it all out, and... Uh, I was so relieved to not be murdered that I ended up taking Mike to the airport <laughs> to pick up his dry cleaning tomorrow. Uh, probably Mike's wife at this point. I'm nobody's wife. You'll find out as the show progresses why. 